I became a project companion to challenge myself and to experience life from a different perspective through new relationships, a new culture, and even a different rhythm of life. I was also looking for a unique way to get out of my comfort zone and something that would help make me a more compassionate and generous person. <sighs> the experience of being a project companion allowed me to learn so much about myself and the people who live in the region. Suyumayu is a remote community of about 100 families. For three days every week, I had the opportunity to live with a host family there. Julia and Daniel were my host parents, and Freddy, Brisaida, Rodrigo, and Ruti were my brothers and sisters. It was such an interesting experience to share in the same space, to eat the same food, and to, in a lot of ways, experience their daily lives. In Suyumayu, I got a taste of a beautiful, interconnected, and communal way of life, but also a way of life that can be hard and challenging. Every member of the family has a role to play, especially the kids, working together to take care of the family's livestock, to cook, and to clean, all while balancing their schoolwork. The relationships I made within the community, especially with my host family and the ladies at the parish, Inez, Estella, and Julia, those friendships will remain with me for a lifetime. I felt like I was a member of their community, a part of their family. The practice of accompanying our friends in the region plays a huge role in the work of the Kispikanchi Project. Taking the time to learn more than our community partners' names, but also how they live, their struggles, what they're passionate about, all of this informs our work. There is something about accompaniment that forces you to leave your own agendas behind. So much of our lives are driven by an agenda, selfish or otherwise. When you accompany someone, in a lot of ways you have to be willing to go at their pace. Accompaniment implies mutuality, a relationship that goes both ways. Twice a week I spent my mornings in the kitchen with Estella and Julia where they invited me to help prepare the food for the local families. Every day we gathered around a bucket, peeling potatoes or shucking peas. And I think it was during this time when I was able to learn the most from them, about their families, their lives, and their senses of humor. The Kispikachi Project is built on a foundation of relationships and trust. This is why the companions and interns are essential to advancing the mission of the project. They put a face to our work. They are the ones who live in these communities for an extended period of time, developing and fostering relationships with the people we serve. Through the Companions and Interns program, young people have the opportunity to gain hands-on experience working in a developing country in areas like education, health, and social entrepreneurship. With the launch of initiatives like Project Fabrica, program participants have the opportunity to learn how business can be used for positive social change and the betterment of a community.